Hey everybody, it's Kenundra back again with another video for you guys. Again, I'm going to be streaming Path of Exile. Uh, a couple of things that I want to put out there, of course, first is make sure you guys subscribe to my different channels. The first being, of course, my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel, The Conundrum. Definitely feel free to subscribe to that. Uh, just know that if you do become this subscriber on my YouTube channel, you'll definitely get a shout out on my next video. Also, I want to give a, give a uh, notification about my Instagram, The underscore Conundrum, uh, as well as my Facebook, The Conundrum as well, so you can check that out too. Um, again, um, as you know on Twitch, it is the conundrum too. It's not spelled the way you usually spell it. It is spelled T H E C O N N O N E D R U M. So that's a couple of housekeeping things I want to throw out there for you guys, for you guys to check out and subscribe to. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and log in and get back to our character, and we're gonna go ahead and play. Again, this is Path of Exile Blight. Uh, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5 to 7. Again, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 5 to 7. Uh, right now, uh, I'm going to check out where exactly we are with our actual um, uh, challenges we need to do or quests. So, uh, we still have to do you have found an ancient barrier veil py uh, pyramid, climb up to the top and find a creature of shadow. So, that is what I need to do now. Um, so, that is the first thing I need to do. Um, I trying to remember if it's the caverns I need to go to to get to it again but I don't remember off the top of my head um, I will find out in a second if this is uh, the way I need to go but I think I'm gonna go with the caverns first uh, and kind of go from there uh, so let's go ahead and go here um, I'm gonna move around and go over here and we're gonna go ahead and go from there this person move out of my way so okay so let's go ahead and go to here um, again, we're just going to go and see what we need to see. So I've entered the cavern, so I actually need to hit the pyramid up, too. I want to change my map up as well, uh, so I know to make sure I can see what I need to see. Uh, I'm going to go around again. Um, I did stop last time uh, before uh, when I was climbing an actual uh, pyramid. I didn't get to the top last, so last time we were on here. Uh, this is a free game. Again, you can download this for your... You can also download this for your uh, PC as well as you can download this for PS4 and PlayStation. I'm sorry, uh, with also um, with um, I'm drawing a blank uh, Xbox One. I couldn't think of the word. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but like I said, you can definitely feel free to download this. It is very fun. It is uh, uh, what I think is a version of uh, Diablo. Um, uh, it definitely has the same type of qualities that I enjoy about the game. Um, again, like I said, you do a lot of searching, you do a lot of quests, you know, that you, that you have to figure out things, you kind of go from there. Uh, so, for me, it is very fun. Um, again, you know, you can go check it out, let me know your thoughts on it, you know, down in the comment section if you guys like it or not. You know, if you guys started playing it or have stopped playing it or, or kind of gone from there. Uh, one big thing you should know about the game is that, um, with the game, this is Blight, this is not the regular Path of Exile, the original Path of Exile, Path of Exile, um, didn't have this blight thing, so now they do have this blight thing, and it is something different. Uh, so, uh, like I said, you know, definitely feel free to check that out as well. Uh, I'm not going to pick that item up again. When you play this game, you know, you get a lot of items that you will find in this game that you may or may not want to pick up. So, for me, you know, I haven't picked up a lot of items, I only pick up like, items that are actually gold items. So, again, the gold items, of course, are the better items that you want to get. You want to equip those, you want to make sure that you can uh, use those to your advantage and go from there. Uh, because the fact that, you know, with gold items, they definitely make you stronger. And uh, you want to make your character stronger. Also, as well, you always want to make sure, like, this item right here is a gold item. So, I definitely want to get that item. Uh, I definitely want to check to see what exactly it, it is attributed to. So, I can use this identity to identify what it is. Now, again, this is actually level, when I'm saying this is level 27. Uh, I'm sorry, this is level 22. So, again, this is a lot better. Uh, than, than the one I have right now, which is only level uh, 17. So it does uh, better than Mama. Uh, it does uh, increase ability. So again, I can put also put more gems in this one as well. So I can take this one out, put this one in, throw this out. Actually, I'm not gonna throw it out, but I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that in there, and I'm gonna stick this in here as well. Uh, I do have another space for a different one as well, uh, if I want to, and kind of go from there. Uh, so if it's a holy totem, I already have that already. Uh, I can also do my spectrum. Let's see. Do my special weapon in that one. Um, and kind of go from there. Oh, I do see one thing. I have to have 67 to intelligence to actually use certain things. So I can't use certain things here as well. Um, so uh, I will have to take things out. Um, let me see. Support melee. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this out and I'm going to put this in here uh, and kind of go from there. Let's see. Uh, this is Challenge Lightning. So you see turn a fire hand. Or is it turn a fire from your hand repeatedly? So actually I'm going to use... Oh, I can't use that one. Okay, so I actually have to have 67 to intelligence to actually use that one, so I can't really use it at all. Again, intelligence is uh, my thing that you have to have. Uh, I'm going to show you on, actually on the rest you pass a tree, but you have to actually have intelligence. Now, intelligence are, you know, are listed on the tree in different places. Uh, intelligence right here, dexterity right here. And I'm trying to see where my next intelligence is to kind of get an idea, uh, but I am not seeing it right now. Uh, I'm being attacked. <laughs> that so I'm gonna go back real quick and see if I can find a way to get to my intelligence as well because uh, I don't want to have you know not having any intelligence to make other this as well yeah so oh I have a new uh, gym too that uh, looks like I'm gonna enjoy so let's check out this lightning this new lightning gym we have also have as well uh, you your me level with uh, elect electrical energy as you swing in addition to converting some of your physical damage to lighting damage. That sounds pretty good. Uh, again, that is a green one. Um, icy blades. So I actually can use that. I have icy blades. Um, I want to use that here. Let me see if I can put this in real quick. Actually, no. Um, swing as releasing projectiles. Shatter, fly with enemies traveling. Um, I might try that instead. You know, there's the pros to one I have now. Uh, let's go ahead and put that in there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, I'm gonna switch that out. Put that in there. So, um, let's see. Uh, put that there and we are going to see what this looks like so this is a W button ooh that looks pretty interesting so let's go ahead and check out um, I, my computer all of a sudden is running slow all of a sudden out of the blue and I don't know why um, like something's going on ooh I kinda like that move too this new move I have now So that's definitely a better uh, equip too to have. You also can have this thing about the blight as well, so we can also check that out. Um, I'm gonna go back in this room a little bit just to kind of you know get an idea of what I can do uh, when it comes to that as well. Do more damage to these guys. This way. Uh, we're just, again, we're just clearing out the rooms right now to kind of get an idea of exactly of uh, what we're dealing with in this area over here. Uh, it looks like my fingers are getting ready to level up soon, so that's a good thing as well. Uh, kill these guys off here. Ever since I did that update to, to this, to this it's kind of, kind of, you know, they move a little slower than I like it to. I don't know why. Ghost horn. Uh, uh, this axe. Sure, these guys in here. Those guys are dead. We're gonna go in this room. Get this one the last one to go in over here. And no, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. We do got several more rooms to go in. Uh, so let's go in here. I kinda wish I could do two of those totems instead of just the one. That would be nice. Uh, kinda go from there. Broad X. Uh, that's a dead end. Hopefully, not for me, of course. 
I'm gonna go this way. Actually, we got guys over here waiting for us. Now this portal. Again, town portals basically allow you to go back into uh, town and kind of, you know, refill all your your um, actual bottles and stuff like that. So if you're not familiar with that, again, it's just like refilling your bottles for life and things like that nature. So. Oops, I got a rare item, looks like. I believe in traveling light. I'm definitely coming back for that item. I don't know what anybody says on that one. Okay, so what do we have in our inventory? Uh, so we can definitely get rid of this. I definitely should grab that. I will stick this in here because this is one of those rare items that you definitely want to have. I'm loving up my gems in case you guys are trying to figure out what I'm doing. Uh, so this is a new item. Um, this is like really good item because it's like a, a one of those uh, ultra rare items that you can get. Uh, this is level 24. Uh, Increased damage, increased uh, rarity of items, uh, elemental damage. So this is like a great item. So actually, I can take and take this one out, put this one in. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna take this out. Um, no. Um, put this one back in. And actually, let's go back real quick. Uh, just just for edification, so let's just go back real quick, so I can kind of set up my items and kind of go from there. Um, so we can kind of go from there. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go check out my actual, uh, not my world map. I want to actually check out my actual uh, passive tree to see if I actually can get up my um, my um, intelligence because my intelligence, unfortunately, is not high enough for me to actually use a gem I like to use. Uh, so this is a gem I like to use. It says I have to 67 to intelligence to actually use it. So again, I need to start checking out my passive tree to find out where exactly my intelligence is. Uh, if I'm looking at it correctly, it's probably somewhere further down. Uh, so intelligence is level 30. Um, so what I can do is my strength. Attack. Let's see what I can do here. That's dexterity. So I would need to go down here, two, three, to get down here for intelligence. I'm trying to see if there's an intelligence anywhere else on here uh, that I might be able to get to that might be quicker. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like that might be the only way I can go when it comes to intelligence. Um, so let me actually let me go up here. Dexterity, dexterity. Okay, dexterity. Uh, do, 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 intelligence. Ah, oh, there is the intelligence right there. Now I need to see how much intelligence I have now. This is my character, uh, so I can know. Um, intelligence I have 65. So, um, let me see what the actual what I'm looking for on here. Let's see inventory. Intelligence needs to be 67, so it needs to be a little bit higher. So I actually can go that way and figure out uh, exactly what I need to do. So, um, I would need to go. Was it up here? Where was it? I saw up here. So what I can do is I can take one of the points that I had from before. Take this point off. Refund this point right here. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out. It says I have a refund point, but it won't allow me to do it. Um, that's weird. It won't allow me to do it. I don't understand why I can't do that. Um, I says I have four refund points, but I can't. I wonder if there's something I have that I need to actually use first that allows me to use a refund point. But I don't think it is. I mean, but I'm going to check out these other items as well. Um, this one, it's just not really a great item. This is level 23. Uh, again, this is not as good either uh, when it comes to that as well. Um, so, so I'm going to take and take that out. I'm going to put this in here. So I have that in here. And I want, like I said, to have... Um, 
this, but I can't have it unless I do the refund point. I just don't understand why they won't allow me to do the refund point at all. And I don't, you know, it's, it's confusing me to why that's happening. But uh, let's get rid of some of the stuff we don't need anymore. Um, this we'll get rid of. Um, this we can get rid of. Even though, like I said, this is this is this is still stronger, 36 to 75. But again, this is like one of those rare items that you definitely need to keep and you definitely want to have in your possession if you can. Um, so, I'll go back to my inventory. I'm gonna go identify this. I, I swore I thought I identified this item already. Um, but let me go ahead and get rid of this. So, get rid of this. Okay, we got. Oh yeah, I forgot we can also get rid of this as well. Let um, we go from there. Um, I'm trying to figure out why I can't use Bravo my far. refund point. Um, let me check my stash. Maybe there's something in my stash that I have that won't, that, that's, you know, I don't know why it won't allow me to use my refund point. That's, that's makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, refund point available. Oh, now it's doing it. Okay, so now I see it's doing it now. All of a sudden, up blue. Oh, I think I know why it has to be one that's last connected, so... Or not connected to something, so um, let me see what we got here. I can't use that one. I have to keep that one. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to put that here. Apply that here. Okay, so I should be able to now use it if I'm not mistaken, um, and kind of go from there. So let's go ahead and, um, like I said, you know, check out my character. You know, just get a little bit more layout for him. I'm um, gonna put this back in here, um, so that way it is in there. This will go, this this will go here. Put this here. We're gonna put this. That's in Q, which is my ice things. Um, this is there already. This is there already, and we're gonna put this in there. Uh, and kind of go from there. So that way we have it in there. I also have another space available to me uh, that I can use as well. Um, I also can use two-handed items. Like you see right now, I only have one item, but I actually can have another item in my hand as well if I want to. So for, say for instance, I'm gonna put this in here. I can put this in there as well. It's giving me myself a shield. Uh, so that way I can cover myself as well. Uh, and also get my stuff, uh, um, you know, more abilities as well. So I can use that. Or this is this, this is level eight. This is level 18, so of course this is a little better. Um, I could use a sword as well if I want to, or I can use magic wand as well. Um, so I could use any item I want to. So technically, I could, I think, use both of these at the same time. So let me see for a second. This is level 23. Let me see something for a second. This will work. No, I won't work. Okay, never mind. Okay, I thought that could work, but apparently it does not work. I actually could use uh, two swords at the same time if I wanted to. Um, and go from there uh, so but uh, these are kind of lower level and I don't want to use a lower level I want to use as high level as I can get so I'm just gonna put this in there for right now and um, put this in here as well um, I'm also gonna find another gym I can put in here too where I have more abilities swing axe or sword releasing projectiles uh, attacking with, with increased ice I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and actually um, Support any skills of his enemies. So I think I'm gonna put this in here. Uh, this has continues to launch a torrents. Uh, this has smash the ground, bring forth the spears. Um, I don't know why. I'm back. Uh, Moan strike. Um, so I think I'm going to put this here. Um, spears. Um, I don't know why I don't have the other one on here, but um, somehow I think it will answer itself sometime in the near future. Uh, let's see, fire projectiles, and I'm just thinking I'm going to put another support in here as well. Um, support um, gym in there. Uh, physical damage. Let's see. I have a red uh, melee strike game for granting damage. Who down? Okay. Okay. 
push them low, knock them back. Okay. So I'm wondering if that will allow me actually to use that. Uh, let me see something real quick. Uh, I'm just checking my, my inventory now. So no, it still won't let me do it. So anyway. Um, uh, let's see the text, fire as arrows. All right, is it just turning? Are there turning projectors that can be caught? Blade. I'll try that. See what that is like. Um. So I might use that here and go from there. Okay. So now we are going to go ahead and go back now, since I'm set up a little better now than I was earlier. Wait a minute, didn't I use a town portal earlier? What did my town portal like go to? to? Know, exile. Oh my god, where did my town portal just disappeared on me out of the blue? That makes no sense. Um, oh jeez. That makes no sense to me why my town portal all of a sudden disappeared on me. I hadn't opened it for that long. It's, it's something goofy about this. Whatever they did, it's something goofy. It's not adding up at all you know if that's the case I, I don't know that's really goofy in my view you know that all of a sudden I have I started out with um, um, having this half of the day completed already actually it looked completely different from this too so I'm not sure what's going on with this so you just say I'm a little confused Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm a little baffled and confused by this. So I don't know. Yeah, okay, grab that. That makes sense. Uh, like I said, I, I don't know if it was something with the update that they did or whatever, but apparently my town portal did not stay open as long as I would like it to. I thought it would stay open a lot longer than that. But it did not for some oddball reason. I have no idea why. Now I'm just kind of finding my way around. Um, I'm trying to remember, and I'm just going to my map now, uh, where this is. I think, I think I'm in the wrong spot. I think I need to go to the Val Ruins. Val Pyramid. Um, quest area. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm in the right area, so that's a quest area. Okay, so that I am in the right spot. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. It looks, like I said, it looks different from what I was saying before. Uh, I don't know what it is. All of a sudden, not blue now. It's like I'm you know, not looking the same way. Well, got a new gym. That's always a good thing. Uh, I'm not sure if they did some type of update I don't know about, but all of a sudden now it's like it looks different um, than before. So I, I'm not sure what's going on with, with what they're doing, but um, I guess those things will answer stuff as I go along, go from there. Again, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any new subscribers I get. So if you don't want to become a subscriber, definitely become a subscriber. Uh, again, I do have a YouTube page, The Conundrum. Please feel free to check that out. Uh, it's spelled T-H-E-C-O-N-N-O-N-E-D-R-U-M. So feel free to check that out as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, again, you know, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uh, from 5 to 7. 
Uh, if the hours do change, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for right now, those are the hours I stream. Uh, like I said, and I do react to different things as well. So feel free to definitely check out the page. Do some likes on there. I appreciate that too. You know, let me know your thoughts. And that way we can kind of go from there. So. so feel free to check out my Facebook page. The same name, The Conundrum. You can definitely check that out. Um, like I said, you know, if you enjoy my 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 uh, views on stuff, or not, not necessarily my views, but enjoy my videos, definitely feel free to leave some likes. Uh, there's probably over 200 videos on there, so you know, I did become a streamer um, last year. Uh, actually, you know, just trying to you know do something I enjoy. So this is something I enjoy. Uh, I am playing Path of Exile. In case you guys are wondering, uh, if you just happen to be passionate about my page, wondering what I'm doing, I am playing Path of Exile. So you know, feel free to check it out. Now let me know your thought is a free game you can download on your PC as well as on your on your PS4 or on your PlayStation. I'm sorry, on your PS4 or on your Xbox One. So you can definitely feel free to you know and check it out. You know, go from there. So this is going to Northern Forest, which is odd because um, I need to be going back to the ruins. That is the area I need to be going back to, and I don't know why I am here now. If this was, if it was supposed to be taking me to the ruins. Uh, I guess. Uh, let's see if this takes me back to the ruins or not. I don't, I don't. No, uh, because it's kind of weird because I was in one area and all of a sudden now I'm a different one. So. So definitely need to fill that back up. Use my mana beauty heals up pretty quickly, but apparently today is not doing that, so well, let's go down this way. Me, buddy. Blue items are good, but like I said, you know, it's mostly the, the gold items I usually shoot for. I kind of go from there. This way. Scroll of Wisdom. Well, then we have a new gem that's definitely looks like it's worthwhile. Uh, let's check this out. Um, some of the ancestral tone which attach the enemies with melee strikes while you near it, being near it grants you more attack speed. So that sounds pretty good. Um, so you can do actually do more damage. You know when you're you know, killing monsters and stuff, so. so. Okay. Let's 
kill that guy off. Actually, we're gonna go over here just to clear the spot out right quick. <laughs> Moves out here. Can I go from there? Oops, oh, I forgot to my hands on lightning on fire. I'm sorry, not on fire, but I can have lightning. So waypoint here. I'm trying to figure out why. I might just go back real quick too, because I was like, it's telling me a little bit that, that my thing is the other way, but it just took me someplace different anyway. Damn, I got his turtle. Looks like we have another uh, gym. Uh, unleashes orbs of energy while you channel that repeatedly jump toward the target location until the duration expires. Dealing damage. That sounds pretty good. Uh, so, what I might do is challenge the hands. Spread less long. Fans spread wider and closer to should spread longer directly in front of you. Oh, I think I know what this is. Uh, that's, that's this one. That's, that's, that's the incinerator. Uh, so that's that that's that one um, at least I think that's the right one um, I actually want to actually put in um, this one this new gym just to kind of see what this orbs these orbs look like so I'm gonna put that in there we're gonna switch this out and do we have this one on here this is storm burst okay so let's see what these bursts look like and kind of go from there so I would want to see what these bursts look like, if I can use them or not. I don't... I don't really see anything coming out of me at all. weird I don't know if this update just did something wrong or what happened but I think this update may have did something and may not have done what it was supposed to have done it may have just made things worse I don't know up all right guys pretty close This is 250 for life. I think I'm way higher than that for life, honestly. Oops. Yeah, I think whatever they did, they did something messed up. They just screwed this all up. Let's 
So again, I'm here in Plath of Exile. So you guys, you know, like I said, feel free to check it out yourself. Uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, like I said, it is a free game you can get for PS4 as well as uh, PC. Uh, this is still the ruins. Okay, so that's still the ruins. Okay, so I found the ruins now. Um, I swore I thought I had the ruins with up. I mean, honestly, I thought I did. You know, maybe I did. You know, maybe I'm making it wrong. So. And it's good to try a combination of sometimes your 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 things that you use that way you can. Oh God, she's singing again. Oh, oh, help me. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this blight thing again. This is the blight, so this is uh, where we have to actually try to make sure that she can get power. Uh, soon, monsters will be coming out of here in a second. Uh, we want to make sure we stop to prevent the monsters from coming out. Uh, so again, um, having them here, you know, definitely helps. Purification pump. Alright. Trying to keep these things from getting to this thing. I'm trying to. Oh, we didn't do it. Oh, that kind of sucks. We weren't able to do it, so again, you know, you have to keep them away from the purification pump. Unfortunately, I was not able to do that, which does suck. Uh, and a lot of them were coming out, as you saw uh, beforehand, uh, and I wasn't able to keep them at bay. Uh, so that does happen sometimes, you know, when you're playing. Uh, but, you know, like I said, that'll be another opportunity. So, you know, you just gotta take the good with the bad and go from there. So, I'm gonna definitely grab this flask. Uh, I would have swore I thought I had something to come out of here as well as I could have used, but it doesn't look that way. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and go on to the next part, which is to this Veil of Ruins. We have to climb this tower. Uh, so if you're not familiar with this tower, you'll see it in a second. Uh, we're also doing this Blight thing, um, which is a new uh, passage they actually added on to it. So I started this about, I'm going to say, a month or two ago now. So, um, But I enjoy this, you know, just playing this and you know kind of seeing how far I can get with this game uh, like I said you can see that this thing is kind of messing up a little bit I'm not sure if it's my computer I doubt if it's my computer but I think they're just having a few issues trying to do this so um, just you know just take it for what it's worth and kind of go from there so so we're grabbing roll they lost their minds. Gotta kill those guys off. Okay, let's see this, this item that we have now. This new item we have. We have a couple of new items actually. Uh, so let's check them out real quick. See if they have anything worthwhile. Uh, this is up to 23. Uh, 33 to armor. Excuse <coughs> me. 15% to movement. 8% uh, to um, increase rarity items. Uh, regenerate, so that's not bad. Um, not super great. Um, again, this is again a rather rare item, that's why it's lit like that. So, in case you're trying to figure out why it looks like that, it is a rare item. So, one of those items again that you keep, you want to make sure you keep on you at all times. Um, this is level 22. Uh, increase the nano speed, flex. Uh, so, that's okay, but that's not super great. Uh, Lightning damage. So I keep all my flask, at least for the moment. Let me level these up as well. Um, because of the fact that they are good items to have uh, in case you do need them uh, in the grand scheme of things. Uh, because sometimes, you know, when you're fighting, you know, you'll run into things that'll, you know, be, you know, taking you down really quickly and you're not really trying to have something that takes you down quickly. Um, so I'm gonna throw that down. Although, like I said, these are good money to get back to these three connected ones. So those three connected ones are good ones to have. Um, so again, we're going to go down this way. Wait a minute, this said we were actually in the veil. Let me see something. Veil. Pyramid. We need to be going to the pyramid. Ruins. Wetlands, riverlands. I'm trying to see. Quest location says it's here in the cavern, but I didn't see anything when I went to the cavern earlier. 
Uh, I'm gonna go back real quick because I don't think we're in the right spot. You said I don't believe so. I mean, I don't understand because it's like I started out of one way and then all of a sudden I ended up like a whole completely different area. Um, so yeah, so let's go back real quick. Um, and kind of go from there. Kind of, kind of revamp exactly what I'm doing. Kind of go from there. I uh, hope you guys are having a good Monday. Uh, it is Monday. Uh, it is getting ready to end the month of September. So, you know, that's a big thing right now. September is about to end. Cassandra St Cassia. I'm sorry, Cassie. I don't know what cookie you call it. Cassandra. Cassie. Cassia. Or Cassie. That's what I want to call her, but that's not her name on here. Uh, and kind of go from there. Uh, so let's go back to this um, waypoint. Because it says where the quest is, but I just don't understand why um, it's looking the way it looks. I mean, it doesn't add up to me. You know, I don't understand why. You know, it's it's taking me to a different place as well as where I need to be going. Because uh, it's only giving me one area. It says the quest area is over here. So how is it the quest area is over here, but it's not really from where I need to go? Um, which is weird. Uh, unless I missed the door or something like that, you know, which could possibly have happened. Completely possible. Completely not really possible. I believe in traveling light. You too. This is a big bad guy. Definitely grab this mask. Oh, I can't take it yet. Okay, so I gotta go back real quick and uh, get rid of some of this stuff. I go from there. So let's go ahead and take this stuff back. Uh, I'm gonna put this flask in my in my um, stash. And I'm gonna level this up as well. And we're gonna get rid of a lot of these items that we don't need. What do you want? Uh, this being the first. Um, 3.5. 33 to armor. So to armor. 33. I'm gonna get rid of this. Uh, this definitely can go. This as well. And we'll get rid of this. So, get rid of those. Return if you must. I mean, at least his orbs of energy while you're energy chanting. See, I didn't see this though. I mean, every time I hit the T button, it's just not doing that. I mean, I don't understand what's going on, why it's not doing it, but, you know. I'll I go figure. I, I don't know. Here. Yeah, this is going the wrong way. It's completely possible. Here, these guys are. Grab this scroll. 120, I think we're higher than 120 right now. chest up real quick okay nothing in there I don't know why we have all these chests on here if there's not going to be anything in there it puzzles me sometimes but there's nothing that's not, not going to be anything in there what's the point of having them okay so we've gone that way let's try to go to this uh left side uh, over here to see what we can see over here as well see if there's anything useful over here uh let's see Take those guys down. Taken down over here. Let's see what we can see. Dead end over there. Go this way. 
Let's see if there's anything we want in here. Nope. Just want to hop up in here. Kill him off. Nothing in there. Go down the stairs real quick. A lot of people over here. is over here. Also have a doorway behind her. She probably which probably leads to where we need to go actually. I, I don't know. Like I said, you know, it's just weird to me that all of a sudden now that I would actually, you know, have an issue actually getting to certain places. That's doesn't make any type of sense to me. Uh, I'm gonna go back over here though. I just want to clear out the rest of these rooms real quick. Uh, it's not shouldn't take too long, um, but again, I get points every time I kill something off. So hey, why not, right? Some things you just don't understand, huh? Okay, so that's there. Okay, go over here, over here. Pump this chest up, nothing in there. Let me go back to here. I'm gonna assume, yeah, ancient pyramid. Okay, that's where we needed to be going. I don't know what was going on at the time. I mean, it just seemed weird to me that you know all of a sudden I couldn't go where I needed to go, and it just didn't add up to me. I mean, hey, it was something I was doing wrong. I, mean, I could be completely wrong. So let's go down this way. Open up the door. Yeah, you know what it might have been? I just, I just went the wrong way. That might be what all it was, is I just went the wrong way. Uh, I went out the door, a different door by accident, so. Because this looks like the way I went before. And I just messed up and went the wrong way, so. Yeah, that might be completely and utterly my fault. Last, I'll take it just in case. Clear this part over here. It did. Clear those out. Now I think it's time to shed the dream of home. It's a little tight around the collar. <laughs> you know, they did. Like I said, there's a bunch of stuff that you'll get in this game that you won't necessarily need. Um, I don't really get all of it because, you know, it's like no point to get all of it if I'm not going to use it. I don't take it back either because, like, you know, you know it's, money doesn't have as, as much as, as, of, a, of, a, of a, a thing as you would think it would in this game, but, you know, that's. Every game is different though, so, you know, this game, 
money has a factor, but it's not really money so much. It's more along lines of uh, uh, being able to buy the things you need with uh, with scrolls and stuff like that. So that's mostly what you use is scrolls in this game. So again, it's the Path of Exile. So feel free to check it out. It is a free game you guys can play. Uh, let, me it, let me know your thoughts on it. You know, if you like it, if you don't like it. Again, it does remind you a lot of Diablo. So it is, uh, you know, uh, a pretty good game. Uh, I've been playing this for a while now. Um, it's very fun to me. I mean, I enjoy playing this game. Sometimes I get lost in transition as you're playing the game too. So, you know, it's just one of those things where you, know, you just gotta, you know, kind of focus in and you know, be, you know, be ready to do what you need to do to go from there. So. Gems so my gems just leveled up. Okay, and this was the way out. It went out before, so yeah. So um, yeah, I messed up and just went the wrong way. So I'm gonna go back here, and we're gonna put this to strength. Why not? Why not? We want to get stronger, right? And we can level up these gems right here. So the rest of my gems are getting ready to level up as well, so that's a good thing. I think that's why my uh, my my actual mana is actually like this because of the fact that um, I um, don't I have my hands lit up like the way they are for electricity, uh, channel electricity through my hands. So that's the reason why it's lit up like that, uh, and kind of go from there. So I might take the T out though. I mean, because it doesn't seem like it's doing anything, in it, and I don't understand why. Do I have to hold it down? Oh, I get it. I got to hold it down. Okay, that's what it is. I, I, I couldn't understand why I couldn't use it. It's like this is just not adding up for some reason. Let's go back over here. Again, like I said, most of the stuff that you see right there, I don't really need. Uh, so I don't really take it with me at all. So I have actually a long way to go back, actually. But in a way, it was kind of worth it. I mean, I did get to level up, so that did make me feel a little better being able to level up. Kind of going from there. Rather well. Hmm. You die rather well. I think they already did already, but that's just me. Okay, so let's start over there. I'm going to go back around and go back toward Cassia and we'll go from there. So let's go back around again. So the bad part is I get to actually go all the way around and get all the way over here. Which kind of sucks, but you know. I don't know about this burst thing. It seems like it's not really worth it in the grand scheme of things. I mean, I don't know. Uh, we'll see later on down the line. I mean, it, you know, I might feel a little differently later on, but right now I don't feel really too grand about it. You know, I want to get these orbs that, you know, kind of blow up. I know there's uh, one I saw in a video that before where they were actually blowing up. So uh, let's go ahead and do the spike thing. Hello. I'll okay, pray dude. for you. There we go. So, got one, got two, three. Okay, so it looks like it's coming from over there. Over here. So I gotta make sure I keep these eyes off. She's gonna get past me. Oh 
shoot. I gotta shoot that way to the purification pump. Oh, so we did it. Ooh, that was a lot. Uh, looking at those guys. Jeez. And we got a lot of different stuff too. So we can grab this, which is definitely something we need. Yeah, this town's portal. That's something definitely we need. Uh, we're gonna go back through here and, and, and open up these these blight things that we have. So we'll see what comes out of them. Got a ring. You can always use a good thing. Let's check out this ring real quick. So identify that item, and we're gonna identify the ring. Uh, the ring is level um, it says level 22, so I'm definitely gonna replace the 17. Um, this is 24 now, okay. So the 17 ring with just 20, just just 22 ring. Uh, because it's a lot stronger uh, and a lot better. Uh, we also can um, open this up. I'm gonna go back and get rid of some of these items too. That way, you know, I can open, I can actually go back and you know have more stuff because, as you can tell, um, you can see that I don't have enough room for a lot of things. So we're gonna go ahead and sell what some of these items. Off. You bring now? Um, 640, 830. No, I don't need this. I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I don't need this anymore. Definitely don't need this. Um, 23. I don't think I need this right now. Definitely don't need this. I don't know why I have that in the first place. This I definitely don't need either. Uh, 24. I'm gonna get rid of this. Um, accept that. Close that out. Uh, check my inventory real quick. Uh, make sure I don't need to put anything in here. Support any skill damage. You see, not to torn the fire from your hands. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this, put these away in my stash um, real quick. So I'm gonna put this in the stash. And I have a lot of gems too. So eventually, I'm probably gonna get rid of some of these gems because I probably don't need all of them either. Uh, and move them over as well. Because, uh, you know, you have all these gems, you really don't need all of these gems all over the place either. So... Uh, let me level that up real quick. Just like this. Maybe it makes it smaller. And kind of go from there. So I see they got a message up here for people, um, which I don't really need, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But let's go back real quick. And we're gonna go back and look at the rest of the items that we got from here. So, we got another uh, sword that we can use. So let's check out the sword. Uh, let's see, identify item, 1925. So this is level 22. This is level 23. So 40%, uh, 21 to 60, that's still a little better. So um, I'm probably gonna hold on to the did one I have now. Uh, let's open this up real quick. Wow, wow. A lot came out of that one. I thought I would have more blight, but um, blight items, but apparently I don't, so. Oh well. Uh, so let's go ahead and go upstairs uh, again. Like I said, most of these items we don't need at all because of the fact that, again, they aren't really rare items or stuff like that. They're more of a common items. You know, you probably will end up seeing something similar to them later on down the line. So, again, you know, that's just you know how it kind of works. So, um, I just want to check something real quick. Uh, so. Oh, excuse me, one second. So yeah, so yeah, so let's go ahead and just you know check out you know there was other room. I hit the wrong button by accident. Do apologize about that one. Uh, so let's get back to the game uh, again. I said this is Path of Exile Blight. Uh, this is the new patch that they did come out with recently. Um, I think I'm really in, I really enjoy this game. You know, I think it's a really uh, good game to play on either on your PS4 or your Xbox One, as well as your PC. It originally came out on PC first, and then they kind of branched it out and brought it on the actual other system. It is a free game, so you definitely feel free to check it out. Also, feel free to definitely check out my page, the Conundrum, as you see listed here. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Kind of go from there. 
again we're going to try to work our way up the tower that is our current goal right now is to make it up this tower uh to kind of go from there um so let's go ahead and go go for it Oh, I think I have the wrong item up. Okay. Okay, I think I know what I need to do. Because I have the wrong item up. I need to go to my inventory. And then switch to the other one. Okay, there we go. I was wondering why something was right, not right. It's not my main, my main weapon I use, so... I was Use the wrong weapon, that's not right. Not use the wrong weapon. I take that at just in case. Uh, we really don't really, 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 really need it. Oh, there's a new gem right there. Take, take advantage of. A new one, new item. Definitely want to see what that is. Uh, it's nothing worthwhile down there. Kill those guys off down there. As you can see, they uh, actually have these little totems that I have to actually just take down now, just before I can actually kill anybody. So uh, that's good. That I, now that I know that I have to do that before I actually they actually die. So. Here real quick. People like on the second floor, I think, over here. Grab this. Go to this door. I'll grab that. May be useful later on down the line. I don't know. So we're gonna identify some of these items that we have. We're gonna identify this item, as well as this one and this one. Let's see what we have. 360 to life. See, these are good, but they don't have you know because I'm already at such a level already that I don't really need to really use those at least right now. Uh, I'm gonna identify this too. Um, it's one. Yeah, this is not all that great. So, um, but this is, yeah, like I said, one of those legendary items I was telling you about before. Uh, I'm definitely going to equip that here. Um, oops, I don't think. So, again, like I said, this is a, a legendary item right here. Uh, but I'm going to chip this item because it's definitely a legendary item as well. So, I'm going to equip that here. Put that there. Um... So again, I can take these out because um, I don't need these here. Those out. I don't know why it seems like my thing is acting slow all of a sudden today, but uh, let's go ahead and take the stuff back and we'll get rid of the stuff. That way I have more room uh, for stuff I may need later on down there. Fast. So we'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. This and get rid of this. Except goodbye. return if you must. Okay, put these up. 
they're not gonna sell but this one we have all red so um let's see what we can put in here for these red items again like i said this is like these are like the items you want to keep for the rest of your time being if you can and you know, go from there supports ancestral totem powerful melee strike game what granting deduction uh, melee supports melee it's a war cry Melee causing death strike, splash damage to each target. Uh, support, support attack skills. I want to put that in there because that supports attack skills. Uh, we're going to go into summon a total. That's going to be a good one too. Uh, we're also going to change this over to melee strike. Why not do a melee strike on that? Um, we're also going to change this back to the second one. Uh, again, these some of these have leveled up as well. Um, stick this in here. Uh, even though I may not need it, um, stick this over here out of the way. Uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this as well. I uh, can't go from there. Uh, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Speak. Rid of this. Excellent. Go back. <laughs> this guy keeps spitting like like he's doing us a favor or something. They're actually doing him a favor of anything, so Yeah, a lot of doors to go through, so it'd be weary of that too. Yeah, got a lot of doors to go through. So. this boy out so um after that that's not as strong as I would like it to be either um it's not yet uh later on probably might be later on but right now it's just kind of kind of a weak uh thing I have right now but I said hopefully you know um when I get to be stronger as a character with uh do some of these items I can you know, do more damage because uh, you know you don't want to be doing uh, little damage. You want to do a lot of damage, especially when it comes to playing the blight. Because the blight, you know, anything can come out of the blight, and that's uh, and that's uh, crazy. You know, dealing with that too. So, okay. right. grab that. Go over here real quick. Here, go through this door. I guess I gotta be stationary too when I do that as well. Here's the oh, how do you actually actually be able to stand in a room like that and you know just not get attacked? I do not know. And you're just literally sitting in a room with all these bad guys in it, and you're not gonna attack at all. So we made it through that one. We cleared out the whole area. Now I think we can take care of this thing. Yep, we got one more room. Light. We'll try to do it in a second. Grab that. Then we need out of there. Oops, I need to grab that. 
go down. That is level up, which is fine. We're gonna go down here. Oh, can't see with this. So we do see it is going this way. Yeah, make sure we try to keep track of the best way we can. I know what the Brandy Lady I see. Light is trying to spread. I know. Who would have guessed? did it so we actually got through this one pretty well and intact so we got a siphon so we got a whole bunch of new stuff in here uh, that's and that again I'm gonna say we want to go with the stuff that's uh, of course uh, not quite colored the way that the rest of the stuff is colored so fire responsible arrows with different targets uh, fires you want to loosen projectiles so that's pretty good. Uh, we get rid of that. Um, let's get rid of this. That's not point. Uh, we do that, and we're gonna go over check. You know what? What things we got new that that are new to us? So we got that. 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 Let's go over here. Grab this, this, and this. And I believe we have one more over here, which is right here. We have a belt, so well, not the best in between the world, but hey, something's better than nothing, right? So this is level 18. Um, so again, we definitely want to have something that's better. So I'm definitely gonna put this in here. Uh, make myself stronger. Uh, this is a lot for my mana, so um, which is good because I you, you do go through a lot of mana when you play this game. So just an FYI. Don't need that flask anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. All right, so we can go ahead and go back uh, and go back to our room that we were in now. Go to the second floor, I believe. It is this way to the second floor. I'm not sure if the blight's on every floor, but it might be. Um, so. The stairs going up. All right, so we I think we're on the third floor. I think I'm not sure how many floors are on this thing, but we'll definitely find out in the second. Did gonna go through here, see what we can see. Okay, did again for the second time. Grab the 
scroll. We're gonna put this right here. And we got the fight. I wonder why I wouldn't open up. I said, why is this thing not opening up? I realized that's what it was. Okay. Orange flask. We don't need that. I said, you know, you can play this game anyway. You want to play it. Um, this is how I used to play it at this time. So, you know, definitely very interesting. You know, everybody has a different tactics that they take to the game. So, you know, whatever tactics you use, make sure you know, the tactics that you enjoy, that you like, you know. Again, this is a free game. This is Path of Exile Blight. Uh, so just so you know, again, I am the conundrum. So, you know, just feel free to subscribe to my channel again, my Facebook as well as my YouTube. Uh, you can definitely subscribe to my Instagram as well. So feel free to check that out. My name is spelled T H E C O N N O N E D R U M. So just in case you're trying to figure out how to spell the name, uh, because not spelled the normal way you usually spell it. Um, so you know, just an FYI. Okay, so that's the way we actually have to go, so let's go this way. So it looks like the map is getting a little smaller for us, which is a good thing. That way we don't have to go through so much to actually get to one point to another. So... A couple ways you can go in here. That's upstairs. Let's go clear out this other room now. I just want to clear it out. Alright, so let's clear it out. Let's do nothing here. Now we can go upstairs again. Maybe second time. Well, well, I'm not sure if this is the fourth time or the fifth time, but definitely uh, we're going up to the lobby floor, so. guy down so he's good to go downstairs and I'm trying to go upstairs. Go back over here. There's no Cassie on the first floor. This uh up oh, there's precision in here. So what does the precision do? See, precision is this one. Casarada grants accuracy and critical strike chance to you and your allies. So that's pretty good. Uh, so. Turn. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Um, I use that there. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and go upstairs to the last room. I think I'm not sure if that's the last room or not, but we'll see in a second. Why did Okay. Up, oh, looks like we have some company. So this should be interesting to see who we're going to see. 
This is a dark altar. Back up real quick. Uh oh, somebody's coming. Yeah, get ready. I'm glad you're liking it. Also, gonna go open this up. New crafting is unlocked. Alright, exit the pyramid. You've killed the vow and banished the darkness. The exit the top of the ancient is now open. So, we have our new way out as well. So, we can go up here. Like I said, all the stuff you see on here I could grab, but you know, it's no point. I mean, it's not. It's going to be as good as, uh, at least I'm not, in my view, it's going to be good as what I have now, so. So this is Sargon. This is our new area uh, that we have now. Um, we actually can go um, and do this, and I'm going to go back to the other town, probably collect on the other ones. I uh, can level these up real quick. Let's go ahead and level those up. I'm just going to go search through. Chest up. Uh, nothing too serious in there that we really need. Explosive trap. That is always good to have. Uh, so explosive traps. I found I'm mistaken. I'd basically make it so you can actually. Uh, whoops! I need to do that. Well, I'll go through it now. It's, it's open now, but you know, um, basically explosive traps let, 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 let you lay traps down that you can that will explode and do certain other things. So. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. I just have to create a large explosion. Maturity done. Spot damage in the area. A small attack explosion occurs. This uh, area in quick succession. Okay, so yeah. So that's pretty good. I'm going to hit this thing to actually check this out. Uh, because there's another weapon uh, that I can use. Um, like if I want to use two two swords, I can use two swords in one hand if I really want to. Uh, so that's always good to have as well. Uh, so this has adds one to this is level 25, so this is pretty good too. Uh, 3 to 40, uh, adds 4 to 8. Uh, it's okay, but it's not super great. So uh, this does. Uh, this is level 25. This is 23. Uh, that's okay. It's not great. I mean, it's not anything super great. I'm saying truthfully. So you know, um, let's go ahead and talk to some people and get rid of some stuff. You have made peace with our land. For now, my spear is lowered. That's good to know. So we're gonna sell these items off. Actually, I could actually infuse this item really quickly too. Um, so I may try to just just for you know kicks and because I might infuse it, you know, just to see, you know, what attributes it actually gets and goes from there. So that's we're going to go to our stash we're gonna put these away that way they're out of the way again I'm running out of space for stuff on certain ones so um, again as you can see this doesn't have any modifiers this is level 23 uh, it has three that are connected but I can't infuse it so I can infuse it with one of these gems real quick and uh, make it a little, little, um, little better 
So, um, range, one hand item, armor, 60 some armor, one handed physical damage. So, um, I could use one of these. I said, uh, upgrades a normal mount to ride on with one guaranteed property, restricted below set 35. Uh, I think what I'm going to use though is one of these. Uh, let's see. One of those lower level ones, at least. So, I think I'm gonna use this. So miss. Oops. And I can just infuse it. So now it has 22 strength. Um, 20 strength, 13 to increase armor, 10% to to increase armor, increase stun. So 20 to life for the, for the melee. So actually, I could use this because it has three attacks. So I can do it like this. And actually take this out, this in here, take this out, put it here. Uh, those are metro copy of your melee weapon, so um, I could use that. Um, I didn't see what this does. I'm going to check and see what that actually does and go from there. Um, so I'm actually going to... So... Support minions, support me attacks every 30 to soon. Say, um, so this actually converts me to cold damage, so that's always a good thing. And then I can do a blue one, so this actually regenerates my mana quicker. So I'm gonna take and I'm actually gonna sell off this. Hello. that so I'm gonna put this one in our stash uh, since I have no place to put it actually okay so yeah so that's that one um, like I said when I find another rare one um, to put in here because I can do uh, one rare one for this one um, when I find more ones I will put them in there as well um, but let's go ahead and talk to some more people uh, cause everybody's happy of course, so we got rid of everything, so... Humanity has one redeeming trait. We learn from our mistakes. You certainly gave us a scare for a bit there, but the damage doesn't seem to have been lasting. Thank you for doing the right thing. Okay. The Fell Shrine is a shadow of what was once good in Rayclast that sigil etched into its stones it's a descry from when the templar truly stood for something to the ancestors of Ariath, the descry was a flickering torch in the night a source of inspiration and comfort sad thing about torches they go out okay so we don't Very talk well. about him so let's go ahead and uh check out some other people who have some stuff to say to us I knew this strangeness would pass. Silk does not run from such things. I stand, I guard, when others shiver and shake. Hmm. It's good to know. Thank you for returning our reality to us. I think we've all had a glimpse of what could happen if Piety tries to harness the power of the Val for her own ends. Hmm. A man-crafted mountain of four sheer sides. That's a pyramid. Val architecture. I've covered a lot of the countryside with piety and seen nothing like that. Still, history is in the habit of burying its dead. Perhaps you could try looking down instead of up. Interesting. Go with courage. I am not surprised. I saw you in my slumber drive the darkness away. I am sorry that I did not tell you before. What I see is only what might happen. And I did not want to fill you with more confidence than would have been good for you. Hmm. It's good to know. Okay, let's see if she has any new items. I don't, I don't think she has any new the items that we can use. Um, it's not really. Chance your shield with the power of storms, which lashes out to deal arching. See, oh, I don't have a blue one for that. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so if I had a shield, I actually could do that. Um, I could get a shield from him. I'd probably have a better shield uh, and go from there. I'm pretty sure he has one. 
probably not a great one, but you know, he has a shield. No, he doesn't. I thought he had a shield or something that'd be worthwhile, but apparently it's not. Uh, also, let's check some of our um, our things that we need to do as well. Uh, so I did pine hard, use a crafted bench, and use the blood altar in the uh, menagerie. So I need to use a crafting Go bench. Far. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go here, and when I get to the new place, I might just do it there. Um, and just go from there. I didn't mean really to open that up, but I did it by accident, so you know it is what it is. Augment. Bugs off. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Starship Troopers killing all bugs. Only good bug is dead. Bug is a dead, dead bug. So uh, some of these you can't level up. I'm, I'm gonna guess assume because of the fact that I don't have enough um, to prize level 31. Uh, what's up, my now um, inventory? No character. So I'm at 30, so I need to get 31 to use certain ones um, to level up. Uh, like this needs to be level 31. Uh, I think there's another one that needs to be level 31 for me to use for using it further. Uh, I don't know which one that is, uh, but I know this one, uh, one of these. It, two of these actually says that I, I have to level up before I can use it. So I'll probably level up sooner rather than later and then won't have to worry about it. Just go back to being, being able to use it. Uh, but once you get to a certain level, of course, uh, with leveling up, they want you to make sure that you uh, are be able to handle it. So. What does this T button do? This T is not lighting up and doing anything for me. Okay, well, if it's not doing anything, obviously it's no use to me, so. So. Soldiers. Ungrateful, but we've no time for talk. Tolman was out here with me, and now Piety has him. Hmm. They're headed for the crematorium. I have no chance against Piety and your blackguards, but you, you're another matter entirely. Hmm. Please, you found it in your heart to rescue me. Tolman is just as worthy of your generosity. That's good to hear. There's a couple other things I need to do before I get there, but. Find this other guy. 
Not sure where he is, but I'm pretty sure we'll find him soon rather than later. No respect for us whatsoever, I'm telling you. Okay, so let's go down. We got a book over here, too. Mortality is the mother of life. We have turned our backs on her. So there's a buck flying in here, and it's getting on my nerves, too. Uh, but let's clear out the rest of this part real quick. I also want to check out that gym that I picked up as well. Kind of get an idea of what that's like too. Yeah, let's check out this gym real quick. I just want to check it out. Uh, summons a ton that has an aurora which regenerates life for you and your allies. That's pretty good. Uh, smash the ground, bring it forth. Blood spears. Um, I think I'm going to put that in here. And we're going to put this here. If it allows me to. So we're going to move this here. We're going to put, um, what was it? Uh, we just had something else I just had. Uh, the fall attack. Uh, rejuvenation. So we'll do that. I'm not sure if we can have all well, we can have it at one time, but we'll definitely see in a second. So we got this coming out. This coming out. This coming out. Blew it up. Uh, oh well. Well, we tried. We didn't quite get there on that one, but hey, you know, it happens that way. So, yeah, we didn't complete that task. Um, again, we could keep the blight from staying up. Uh, again, it does happen that way. So, uh, some of that reduce our aurora, which regenerates life for you and your summers nearby. So, actually, that's not the one I want. Oh, so I'll have to keep it nearby me, I think, uh, for that one to actually still work. Uh, so it's supposed to re rejuvenate uh, my, my total and my life, so um, that's always good. But I definitely need my life. If I die, I can, I'm not going to do much to help anybody if I'm dead. I don't need no swords. Don't need the chest. Grab that orb of chance. Uh, let's see, superior. So this is 178 versus uh, 120, so that's definitely more. Let's go this way. Go up here. Mm 
over this way. Got a lot going on here. I'll go to this next after I get done checking out everything over here. Our paths meet in the shell of a long dead snail. An empire slow to see where its path was taking it. Built on the husk of another and destined to be buried time and time again. This city will see great things yet, Exile. Hmm. But not in your lifetime. Oh, wow, that's nice to say. Fate awaits you. Now you're a familiar face. A face that cost me a good deal of coin back in the arenas of Theopolis. Hmm. Took you for a privileged pretty boy with a death wish. Bet all that against you. Turns out you're as dandy with the blade as you were with your wardrobe. Well, at least you've brought Clarissa back to us. I'll take that as half payment for what I figure you owe me. Problem is, one die lover isn't much good to anyone. Like gloves, they tend to be more useful than pairs. The missing glove in this case is a young fella named Tolman. Fetch Tolman back for us, and you and I can happily call it quits. Hmm. The slums are east of here. It used to house the unwashed of the Empire a couple centuries back. Now it's home to the walking ulcers and sores of this poor city. Hmm. Bring me back something nice, eh? Let's see what items you have, just for my edification. See, now again, this has like four things that are attached to it, which is uh, always a good thing. But again, like I said, what I have now here is definitely better because it's thin. But again, if you can get like things that are attached like this all the way around, you're just like set up for good gold. And you know, it's it's you, the maximum you can have is about six. So um, if you can get six of those, you're definitely good. Uh, let's see what level this is. This is level 31, uh, and it has three that I can put on here. Um, so I'm debating. Uh, this is level 31. This has three put together, uh, which I could use. Um, this is level 24. Uh, has whole different colors on it. Um, see this now. That this again. This is not really enchanted either. So I can actually enchant, or to say, uh, add modifiers to this one. Um, so if I want to um, with this one, uh, see, I also can do it with these vests as well. Um, this is level 31. It's level this, like I said, the one I have is now level 7, 17, which is low. Uh, so again, uh, if I could get one that has all three of them or four of them put together, that's that's even better. This is good. Again, these are good too. But again, you always want to have better. Uh, this is, has um, four of them, so it's always a good one too. That this is four. Uh, this is level 23. And this is level. Um, um, 23 so like I said these are better uh, to have uh, so I can can enchant those if I want to uh, this has three on them this is 31 this is 23 so like I said a lot of this stuff is a lot better than what I have if I enchant them with something and go from there but I might hold off just for the moment at least until I get to uh, something better so um Let's go ahead and level up the rest of these these gems, and then we can be leveled up. Bring me back something nice, huh? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just level these up, and then I, these I can't use because again, I probably have leveled up to the point where I can't use them unless I have a certain level. Let's see if I can figure out what, what's going on. Uh, usually they put pop up in red. Yeah, but we're level 31, 32, level 32. So 31, 31. Yeah, so. That's kind of how it worked with some of these. Madame Moapatua thanks you, Exile, for returning our Clarissa to us. She is the gentle heart of this place, a spirit still capable of love in this wasteland of hatred. Yet that gentle heart remains in jeopardy. Tolman isn't deserving of Clarissa, but she'll not smile until he's by her side. Hmm. Dominus and his Ebony Legion arrived some time ago. Now the Blackguards scour San like hungry maggots on a carcass. What are they looking for? Only that which is best left unfound. Hmm. There is nothing else. Okay, I'm gonna sell this. Stay out of the shadows. They buy it. So again, I can put anointed items in here and, and anoint them. 
Uh, let me see something real quick. I want to check out a couple more people here. Uh, Rigor. Don't think she is. You're alone. So, Tormund's. You didn't go to the crematorium? No, of course you didn't. This isn't your fight. I'm sorry. It was wrong of me to put that on you. To ask you to risk your life for someone you don't even know. Don't worry. I'll work something out. Hmm. I always do. So let's leave an item she has, though. Uh, some of these items, like I said, I can't use at all. Um, so, you know, there's no I point really you looking at those. Keep your distance, exile. The name's Grigor. And when you've had your eyes fill of my twisted bizarres, how about you turn those fine jellies of yours eastward? Yes, you've brought Clarissa home to us. And once again, I see she pesters me with pity. <clears throat> There's only so much broth so many bouquets that a man can take. For a criminal, Clarissa has a strangely soft center. Still, I'd rather not see that heart of hers harden. See if you can find that lost boy mate of hers. With him around, Clarissa doesn't have as much time to bother me. Hmm. Death came to town. The roaring Azumites wore red. The red of blood. The red of the fray. Death came to town. The crying Azumites wore black. The black of disease. The black of dismay. Death came to town. The silent Azumites wore gray. The gray of twilight. The gray of decay. Only the Isles of Scoth were spared. Once a backwater of my proud civilization, now all that remains of the Ezraites. Hmm. Goodbye. So that's good to know. Uh, get a little information about some people uh, here. Uh, we still have missions that we need to complete. Um, I have to find Clarissa's mate, so I have to go a different way to get to him. Uh, so, um, also two. So I'm just trying to think of what I want to do right now uh, for the moment. Uh, I think I'm going to put that away, though. Um, so I'm going to put it in my stash. Put this out of the way. Let me see something. I'm gonna check some items out too. You looking sharp? So that's four. I said I definitely don't want to get rid of that or this because again, like I said, these are like the legendary items that you definitely want to keep. Uh, I do want to eventually get this thing updated because um, it's just you know it just doesn't do me well just to have one as opposed to have something that could have three or more. So like this, you know, if this has three in it, which is good, you know, most I think you can have a six. Um, but again, this one here only has three, so. But like I said, when I go off and start killing things, it'll Bring start, you know, going noise, from there. So uh, I'm going to go to the, the actual hideout real quick. I'm going to try to make something real quick uh, and just hide out. Uh, so... I need to go to my stash and grab an item. I don't know if I can do anything with some of these items either. I don't know. It's 23. This is 23. This is 24. I can see. I mean, we can find out if it does. If I can craft something to this or not. Okay. So, um, as far as I know, I have to, uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to craft, if I can. I 
know, see how I could go about doing this, if I can do this right or at all. Um, I may have to just grab a normal item, I think, uh, to do this. I don't think I can do that right now. Uh, here's an item. Okay, so I just have to go buy an item and kind of go from there. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go back. I'll go back to the Cern, then I'll come back. I'm going to buy an item from here, and then I'm going to enhance it and go from there just to see. Come over here. So, um, I'm going to take S4 and it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab maybe this, this, this has 4 on it instead of 3. So I'm going to grab that item, I'm going to take and I'm going to go to the high and try to enhance it. So I'm gonna try to enhance it. I, I, I still haven't quite figured out how it works at all, but um, if I can figure it out, I will. Um, if not, then so be it. So. So, okay, so I can craft uh, 15 to life. Okay, so I see where I kind of just see see what it is and kind of go from there. Uh, but I can add life, mana, fire resistance, some other stuff to it as well. So uh, this for kicks and giggles crafted. So I have completed the quest. Uh, you're playing a hideout. You have enhanced an item. So I've enhanced this particular item. Um, with 18 to maximum, and that's who she's gonna say. I could hardly hope for better results. Do note, the device needs special reagents to perform, so not all uses will be so easy. Okay. That's Keep your to life know. to your own. So actually I have life on this one, so I can add mana to this one as well. Uh, so that's a prefix, the prefix is uh, life. So suffixes are stuff that I can add to the, to the bottom, so I can actually add strength if I want to. Um, trying to go down, see. I don't want to replace this. I can't add add on to this, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna enhance it with one thing and then kind of go from there. Um, or what it is is that I probably have to take in um, I can replace this with a uh, cold damage so, so I, I can do things with this um, I kind of go from there uh, I did enhance the item so I can go to my stash actually and make it even better I think with one of these uh, let's see, you know, just for just for kicks and giggles. I mean, I have a bunch of these, so fire resist, physical damage, uh, increase spell damage. So now I can't use that. Okay, so okay, so I can't really add more onto it. I thought I could add more onto it, but I guess I can't. I thought I could, but apparently I'm wrong, so, um, but at least now we know now that we can do that, um, so we ha have an idea of what it is that we can do, um, but like I said, we did, uh, complete that. Oh, okay, so this is something to do with important thing, okay. Anyway, so, uh, I did do that, that was from Act 2, so that is done. I uh, also need to go to use the blood altar at Ironheart, so let's go to Ironheart uh, and see if I can use the blood blood altar real quick. Stay pure. Let's see if I can use this at all. I don't know if my stash is here either. Create currency, create a ring. 
Alley mod. I'm still not familiar with this either. This is just definitely one of those things that I'm still not super familiar with. So I, I'm not familiar with how to actually do this uh, part either. So I'm kind of a little bit at a loss. Um, For a chaos orb, actually, to see if I can see. Uh, I'm sorry, a chronic orb. So, wait a minute. So, let me go to my stash. I'm kind of mad that you can't actually have your stash over here with you. I thought that they would actually let you bring your stash over here with you, but uh, let me go back to the other hideout. And, Grab some stuff out of here and kind of just go from there and see what I can grab. Uh, so I'm going to grab this. Grab a bunch of these. Uh, what's the other thing I had? Uh, corruption item. Oh, so there's a reason I don't okay, know the mind. Uh, so, got some of these. Let's just, just for kicks and giggles, let's just go ahead and, you know, see what we can do. Like I said, I'm not super familiar with how this works, but, you know, hopefully I can figure this out and kind of go from there. do with the one that they were looking for. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I have a little bit of trouble finding the one I'm looking for now. Where is it? Uh, where is it? Should be somewhere on here. Figure back. I'll unstack these items. I'm coming to issues trying to unstack these items. I don't know why. Whoops. I don't think I can do this right now, at least I don't think so. Uh, I'm gonna have enough, I don't know what well, that's, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, just leave it, uh, leave it as is, kinda go from there. Uh, 
and we'll just go from there. We'll just go on to the next thing. Uh, we'll just have to come back and do this. Uh, I'm not like I said, I have to look this up. I mean, I'm not super familiar with how everything works when it comes to this part of the actual thing. So, let's see these notifications stop popping up all every three seconds. Uh, so let's go back to number three. We're gonna go to the back to the town. Alright, we don't need that. Go up here. We're gonna go to this. So we have three done. So we have three more we need to do for this trial. Uh, what is this up here? Sun Arena. So, um, as you can check our map uh, to see where we need to go. crematorium so I'm not sure which way it is it might be to the right or it might be to the left I'm not sure I'm have to look over here and see what this is this says to the slums um let's go this way so we'll see where this leads us to and go from there uh, we always can go back to and see if you know we can find out where exactly we need to go. So I saw a book right here. So. Well, something hit me. Sewer grating. We can't do that. Uh, there's a book right here. Let's check out this. The Monkey King has built his throne on your back. A throne of gold and gem, polished with blood and tear. Throw off the Monkey King and his shining privy before your back is broken. Nothing in there we need. You know, all they huffing and puffing and down in here. Over here. Oh, they did. Done. Go this way real quick. So we have a soul look like she needs to be released. Let's try to run. Ancient sword. Got that band and Hamlet she was hearing. So again, this is like a four level item, which is good because uh, all of them are connected. Uh, I think I'm grab that just because um, it's for uh, and then we'll go down here check out some of the inventory we do have sword uh, 1936 it's not bad but like I said it's not as good as you know the, the legendary item we kind of have here uh, so this is level 26 uh, so we're definitely gonna put this in um, but this is a higher level one Actually, I can't put that in. Actually, I gotta put this in because of um, I believe it is um, what's wrong. It is my experience that I can't wear this experience. So let me check something real quick. 
Uh, the experience or was it? Let me level these up as well. Um, let me see. It's my intelligence. I don't have enough intelligence for this tree, so I need to do an intelligence one. Uh, dexterity, dexterity. Dexterity, 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 string, string, string. Okay, where is all the intelligence at? Uh, apparently, they ain't got this guy on here to think, obviously. Intelligence looks like it's just over here. Let's see if there's one over here. So I just did one intelligence already. Apparently I'm not high enough for intelligence. Let's see. I'm trying to see if there's another one around here. Close. Of course not. There's not one. Of course not. That would be too much like right. Yeah, so anyway, so I can't really use that one right now. Um, because of the fact that uh, it basically tells me that I don't have enough intelligence, at least with what I have, uh, to actually use that. So, um... This gives me enough intelligence to use that and kind of sucks that he doesn't have enough intelligence to use that other type of item, but you know. So, let's clear out over here real quick. Break a sweat. Wow, well, I picked up that item for. I don't really need it. I right, said so I hold on to that. Too, for some reason. Even traveling light. You too. All right, so we have a new new vest that we can actually try out as well. Uh, so we're gonna identify this item uh, again. This is level 26, which isn't bad, but uh, we're probably not gonna hold on to that. So um, oops, let me do that. This item. Nope. And we'll go back real quick. Gonna get rid of some of these items. We don't need them. Yes. So, so this, so this, uh, so this. We're good to go. I'm gonna put this back in our boxes. in here this is on a different page 
I'm going to put this on page two, at least for the moment. Uh, okay, you put this over here. This here. Uh, I'm not sure if I have this in here, but this in here. Cut here. It's here. Cut here. Uh, let's see. Those are traps, so put that in there. Get rid of those. Well, I'm gonna hold on to the one and then I'm gonna get rid of the other one and go from there. Hello. So we can get rid of this. Okay, we can level up the rest of these items too. Level us up. That, that, that. Goodbye. Out of the and shadows. Come back through here. Grab this. That's what that looks like. Seven, seventeen increased armor, nine percent, twenty, twenty pound of life, one of lightning resistance, sixteen in strength, regenerate, which is pretty good um, considering. So I may actually switch this out for this one. So I'm actually gonna make them switch this out. For this. There, uh, I put this up. If I can put that up, put that back. Um, I'm about to. Oops, I need to do that right there. Get my butt kicked. So I'm gonna put this. Level this up right here. Just kind of mad though that I don't have uh, as much, um, you know. For intelligence stuff like that, that's kind of sucks, you know, that they didn't give me enough for intelligence, but uh, yeah, apply that there, okay. And of course, we can always go back and do that too, you know, if we want to. Why I can't power this up now? Or what's wrong with my buttons where won't let me power this up? That's weird. Oops. There we go. Okay, it's weird. I can't really move now. Why I can't move. So now I can't move anywhere. Okay. Okay, now I can move. Um, Try to figure out how to get this to light up real quick. Okay, well, there we go. Weird as as possible, but I finally got it figured out. So, you know, sometimes we get these buttons. You know, it's not always you know easy as you want to be every once in a while too. So, why is this here? This should not be here. This should be uh, this. Okay. So I messed around switch some now by accident, so Oh jeez. So I'm having a brain freeze or something going on and 
not being able to figure out what I need to do. So, all right, how do I get over to this side? There has to be a way I can get on that side. I don't see it, okay. Yeah, I think we've been acting goofy all of a sudden. Yes. This is a weird board. This, all the rest of the stuff, like I said, it doesn't really mesh or do, you know, much anything, you know, it's just items. Grab that, grab that, grab that. this board all of a sudden blue out the blue I was having issues with it all right so that was it so that was all we need really need to do we also can read this book real quick before we leave my thing is it's lagging like crazy I'm sorry yeah noticing this I was withered away in darkness my queen has brought me into the light I would have lived in utter ugliness now that I may die in beauty huh. interesting okay so we're gonna leave out of there so it's a corrupted area, we can get rid of that. Uh, we also are going to check our items. I want to check some of these new items we have too, so they look like they're pretty good. Uh, this is uh, 2052. Uh, sorry, it's not great. Um, this is 27. This is only have one though. I don't know why they put like some of the best ones, they put like one. Casting a word that grants evasion to you and the allies. Casting a word that grants coverage to you and your allies. Uh, supports. Okay. All right, what does this one? Fires, fires, and icy projected that bursts that bursts on impact, or when reaching their targeted area, dealing area damage and creating a chilling area that deals cold damage over time. That sounds interesting. Um, Let me see something real quick. I want to see. Oh. I never really was a big fan of that one. That one didn't really tickle my fancy at all. 
let's see. Let's see, heavy strike. So let's go ahead and keep going. down again this is path of x i am playing uh, i am the conundrum you can definitely check out my channel there's a couple of cleaning things i wanted to throw out there again uh you can definitely subscribe to my channel if you do become a new subscriber you'll definitely get a shout out on my next video on my youtube you can become a subscriber on there i do have an instagram page the underscore conundrum you can check that out as well um again you know you spell the conundrum t-h-e c-o-n-n-o-n-e E D R U M. So, just in case you're trying to figure out how to spell it, that is how you spell it. Uh, you can kind of go from there. Um, and like I said, you know, I hope you guys enjoy what you're seeing on here. I am playing Path of Exile. Uh, this is um, um, a game that I have uh, been playing for a while now. It is a free game, so if you want to play it, you can also play it on PC, play it on PS4, as well as you can play it on. Uh, Xbox One. So if you do want to play it on any system, they do have it on the the new system. So you know you can definitely check it out. You know, see if you like it or not, and go from there. So I am on Act Three now. I uh, just uh, finished Act Two, which should take a little while to do. So you know, it is what it is. But you know. so grab that. Grab this room. Up, nothing really good in there. Right there, right there. Grab that. So go upstairs real quick. See if there's anything up there worthwhile. So many places to go in this game too, and you're running going around. I like to check everything, just be on the safe side. Here. Grab the scroll of wisdom if I can. Which way we need to go. So it's like it's gonna be over here. So this is a crematorium, looks like it's downstairs over here. We'll probably check that out in a bit. Uh, I still need to go back and do a couple more of the things before I go downstairs. 
But I just, like I said, I just wanted to kind of clear this out anyway. Just kind of get a view, good view of everything. Just go ahead and put my totem over here. Jeez, these are lady police, I'm saying. Okay, let's level these gems up. Okay. Okay, one more. Let's level up. And the unrighteous would turn to ash. And the unrighteous would turn to ash, to ash. And the unrighteous would turn. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. I stopped. Okay, so there's nothing in there we really need. So let's go ahead and do this blight again. Let's see if we can get get some more good stuff out of it. If we can, it's gonna branch off, like I said, uh, and then we have to try to make sure that we can we prevent anything from coming out and killing us, as well as anything else. So uh, again, it is uh, sometimes difficult to do it. Uh, it all depends. Uh, Put out new mycelium. Uh, new roots. I know, right? You're making me nervous. I know, right? Myself nervous. Uh, oh well, oh, we tried, but unfortunately we didn't accomplish on this one, but uh, we can grab this out of it uh, and a scroll. Okay, you know, it, it, you know, when this thing branches off, it branches off really big, so um, a lot of times, you know, you end up uh, having to, I don't know why I grabbed this for. Uh, you end up having to check and make a man grab and rad dash, dash to figure out where exactly you want to be at when it comes to trying to protect yourself and protect the the machine that she's using. So, um, so yeah, good stuff. All right, we're gonna go down to the crematorium uh, real quick and kind of just go and see if we can actually. Uh, so what's going on? What's going on, Ann? How you doing, man? So we can definitely hit this waypoint. This is our waypoint for the crematorium. This is level 25, so this may be a little, little harder for me because I'm not level 25 yet. We'll see. So, go here. Check this over here. Just do that. I got three things coming out from it. What the heck? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I didn't realize I was dead, though. Wow. Okay. At least I know now. Whoops. I didn't mean to go back out. I meant to go back in. He kicked my butt. Got his cat's claw. I wasn't expecting that to get my butt kicked like that either. There we go. 
know. Getting my butt kicked wasn't part of the plan. So we can go over here. There's a book over here as well. Uh, we can get uh, actually a. Uh, uh, um. On the night of a thousand ribbons, our finest city burned. It burned with fires lit by cruelty and neglect. It burned with shame for giving the title of emperor to a man who did not deserve it. Obviously, the floor is on fire. So I gotta make a pass. Flip this lever open. Up the floor. Burmans me up. All right, gotta go on this side. Have one more on this side. So, like I said, it's lit up like crazy. So, I can't go on the floors when they lit up. Wait till they go down and go from there. Yep, so I have another one done. Let me leave this way. Cool, that works. Down this way, real quick. Nope, nothing this way. So, again, we're in the screamatorium. We're trying to find this girl, and I think his name is Tolum. Uh, in case you're wondering where I'm doing, uh, and this is the quest I need to do. Uh, I say, you know, this is uh, Path of Rick's house. So, make sure you guys check it out if you get a chance. You know, um, like I said, make sure you subscribe to my page if you haven't already. Appreciate any new subscribers I get. Definitely check out my YouTube page as well. Uh, let me know your thoughts. We'll go from there. So then you also check out my uh, YouTube page, my uh, Facebook page, as well as my Twitter page. If you have all those, so feel free to check them out. This way. This way. Everybody in here. Hopefully we can find this guy. He's still alive, but we'll see in a second. Let's try to go over here real quick. See if there's anything else over here I need to do. Oh, looks like we may have found him. Go over here real quick before I go talk to this guy. 
Then this is the Path of Exile. I do stream for five to seven Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you check me out. Definitely subscribe to the page. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully, positive thoughts. Hopefully, go from there. Grab this orb. Put that thing right here. Oops, got a couple silver coins. Cool. Some scraps. Before I got those. And we guess who is here, as you can hear her by her singing. Jeez, she's like the worst singer ever. Jeez. This way, up here. Oh. Oh. Oh, you too, lady. I'll come back and do this. I mean, I'm gonna do this like done since I'm over here anyway. Why not, right? I didn't realize I was dead. Dag nabbit. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Why am I over here? I have no idea. I am over here. I died and I'm mad about it, like crazy mad about it. I died that quick. I think what it is because I had my thing on and because I had my thing on, um, I wasn't able to heal as fast as I should been able to heal. Uh, so I might have to actually turn off uh, one of those things that I was using before. And kind of go from there. So I'm mad about that one. That makes me so upset about that one. I know it was a story, lady. I couldn't get to the thing over there in time. Couldn't get back. I died. Actually, you would think that they would actually let you restart um, after that point because of the fact that you know that you died and it's like there's no way you're gonna get over back over there, especially because one, I'm so far away from it, they're gonna restart you where the checkpoint is, and two, the fact that it's gonna be moving a lot faster since you're dead. Now there's only one person over there trying to take it down, so. Uh, it is what it is, but you know, something they definitely should look into fixing. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Man, and then the worst part is that you can't restart it. Once, you, once it's gone, it's down, it's just over with, so you can't even do it somewhere else. Uh, which makes you even worse. It makes you suck even worse if that happens to you. Okay. That somber expression doesn't become those fetching features at all. Cheer up and dance with me. Duelist, touch me. I'm touching you, lady. Enough of this. 
Oh, I ain't wanna leave now that you're about to die. So the crafting. Okay, so that obviously he didn't make it, so she's not gonna be happy. So she's gonna be crying, like crying her eyes out now that she has to see this. This guy's dead. Uh, no, I don't need that. So let's go find this waypoint real quick. Head out. Go back to town. Let her know, unfortunately, that the guy did die. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think there was any way we'd be able to save him anyway, so, you know, it's just how things work. So. Seems like everybody has something to say. Let's see if people have to say. Tolman's dead then. Another victim of piety's cruelty. Perhaps he escaped lightly. Look upon Grigor to see what life entails under piety's influence. Let me offer you something. In recognition of all that you have done for us. We shall mourn Tolman's death. As we shall treasure Clarissa's life. Mm -hmm. Okay, curses all area targets and area causes them to take increased physical damage and further increased damage over time. Tax increased curses, uh, cures all targets. I'm sorry, curses all targets causes a grand and bluff to another. Excuse me, anyone they hit with melee, the buff more melee damage. Curses where that grants evasion. No. Uh, curses where that grants extra cold damage based on physical attack. Curses all targets in the area, making them less evasive. Hitting a cursed iron. Okay. Curses all targets in the area, making them more vulnerable to stuns. Uh, casting once reserves mana to carry in banner, which makes nearby allies afflict impact and pale with attacks and lessen the accuracy of nearby enemies gain. Stages by impacting enemies while carrying the banner, has the skills against places that. That's way too much they say in this whole thing. Uh, casting a that causes. Nearby enemies be damaged. Looks like all these I have already. Looks like, uh, what's the point of getting these? I'll just get it anyway. General Gravisius demands absolute obedience from his blackguards, meaning he's surrounded himself with cowards and lackwits, unable to lift a finger without orders. If you are able, traverse the river and murder Gravisius in his own barracks. He'll be ripping the very mind from the skulls of our enemies. Okay, let's check out some of the rest of them. Clarissa will weep for Tolman. She must. The cloud is darkest before the rain. It's an often told story among the Karui, how Vol of Thebris bent his knee to my ancestor, King Calm, and promised freedom in return for war. While Vol raised his purity rebellion in the heart of the Empire, Colm took Lord Lion Eye's head and the southern coast all the way to Siren's Cove. It was the greatest conquest the Karui have ever seen. Hmm. If I knew how to cross the river safely, I'd be wearing Gravisius' head on my belt. Hmm. Be well. Oh, Mr. Boy, he was always up for a laugh, whether it was at his expense or not. But I wouldn't miss that Clarissa more. Argon's a name, by the way. And it's my honor to welcome you to Dirty Old Son, the metropolis of opportunity. The opportunity to make something of yourself, or the opportunity to have a very messy death. Hmm. All right, check out some of the rest of these. I was Clarissa's guardian angel back in Orith. Put food on the table in return for a bit of light work. I try to keep her out of trouble as best I can here. But San's full of secrets, and Clarissa's full of curiosity. Hmm. She's just so ample, is our Maramor. In my mind, you'll find no saucier specimen of womanhood. It's her tattoos and that fancy talk she does. Intoxicating. She's a cool one, though. <laughs> huh. Crevisius is the mailed and bloodied right hand of Dominus. 
And I thought the Templar were meant to be spiritual men of deepest humanity. You know, there's a sarcasm in my tone, right? Sure. I had to smuggle a fellow out of Theopolis once. Got a bit too friendly with Gravisius' wife, he did. Every black guard was out on the streets looking for him. So I had to think lateral-like. We took to the drains and didn't bow our heads above the pavement until we sniffed the sea. A grubby bloody job it was, but worth it for the coin he paid. Trust me, the sewers is the only way you'll sneak up on old General Iron Ass, and you'll need a key to get in there. Have a chat to Clarissa about that. Hmm. I'm no history scholar, but I know that Emperor Chittis was overthrown by Vol of Thebris in the so-called Purity Rebellion. But Vol had the shortest reign of any internal emperor. The Cataclysm saw to that. Hmm. Bring me back something nice, huh? So, of course, we got a new thing to do now. General Gravis is prepared an assault on the Sarn enchantment and the encampment. Rama has asked you to crack him, crack, to track him down in the Ebony Parks across the river and assassinate him. So, in other words, I have a long way to go to get to actually get to him. So, um, I would have to do that. Uh, I also have to give this back to Clarissa. Uh, let me see if there's any eyes I want to sell real quick. Uh, do I want to sell that item? Yes, I was gonna sell this item. Uh, as well as this one. Uh, and hit OK. And we're gonna go to. Good uh, luck to ya. Check out our inventory as well. Um, identify this item real quick. Oh, we probably won't be keeping this item. I'm gonna put this in my in my um in my um in my in my stash. I'm thinking of the word, so. Alright, we can go to Nera. Hello. Hello. A hand scrolls on a wall, or carves into bone, a tale that undoes the world and teaches those who come after. Alright, we're talking to her last. I no longer dream when I sleep. I have a nightmare. The same nightmare over and over. The mirror. It's never my reflection looking back. The first time that mirror appeared to me, it was Cole I saw. A rapist from Oriath I had the displeasure of sharing a pen with in Gravisius' stockade. Piety took him for her experiments, and that night I saw her handiwork while I slept. This time it was Tolman, flesh dried to leather, mm. organs shrunk to husks, mm. blood trickling through his skeleton like red dust in an hourglass. It's Piety's gift to me, that mirror. At least I won't be seeing Clarissa the next time I look into it. Make sure it's not you I see either. Hmm. Madame I was sure of herself. And that kind of surety gets you killed in Sarn. You and all those around you. Hagen's got the right idea. Don't believe in anything that you can't trade or eat. Hmm. I wouldn't rely on Hagen in a fight, and I wouldn't put too much faith in what he says. But he has one highly useful asset. His obsession with self-preservation. If Hagen deems you of use in keeping his fat self alive, <laughs> he'll do almost anything for you. I tried to penetrate the Solaris Temple in the Northeast. Almost got myself killed by the bloody yeah, ribbons really that list. guard the place. Bizarre, floating tapestries they are. Creatures of cloth and thaumaturgy. Fortunately, a few legionnaires got in the way. While the ribbons eviscerated them, I ran straight into Gravisius. He dragged me over the bridge to the Lunaris Temple in the west and put me in piety's tender care. Didn't say a single word to me the whole time. I was nothing 
but a spoil of war to him. Hmm. Now you must leave me. <laughs> Poor Tolman. I made this bracelet for him when he first arrived here. Idiot said he'd never take it off. I called him a liar. He didn't, though. Hmm. Not once. I need to give you something. I asked a lot of you out there in the slums. More than I should have. You tried. And that's all we exiles can ever hope to do. Oh, there's a key. Those keys unlock the gates to the sewers. Tolman found them. Figure that in the worst of times, people will hide their wealth in the worst of places. Huh. We were never game to test his theory. Not with the undying down there. But you're strong. Stronger than any of us here. I don't think you need to fear the dark. Yeah. Good to hear. Sorry, I... I need some more time to... to think... We'll talk soon, I promise. Hmm. Watch yourself. I walked halfway across this forsaken continent because of an ode. Of jewels and eternity, it's called. For hmm. twinkled promises of jewels and eternity, guys talk a lot. the gemling queen gave her heart and body. To the King of Shades, for one more day in the sun. The last day in the sun. That's but a portion of the full epic. The Gemling Queen lived, and she's the enigma behind the fall of the Ezomites and the Eternals both. Look to the Solaris Temple to the northeast. Find the Gemling Queen's remains before piety does, and destroy them. Hmm. Tread carefully, exile. Victoria was a poet what ended up leading a rebellion, right under the nose of Imbrachitis. But here's what really interests me. Our wordsmith was quite the talented larcenist as well. Pulled off the heist of the century, in the name of the people, of course. Three finely crafted platinum busts commissioned by Chittis for his favourite trio of generals. Victario and his coppers hold up in the sewers. Now that you have Clarissa's keys, perhaps you'd be inclined to search out those heroic busts for me. Hmm. I'm sure I can make it well worth your while. Sure you can. I can't imagine what that poor bastard's been through. It's a miracle Gregor hasn't completely lost his mind. Granted, He's lost one or two pieces along the way, but there's still plenty that's worth listening to. Hmm. Stay out of the shadows. Okay, so we have three new things we need to do. Herman wants you to find the three pylon bus guys through the sewers. Sewer to the right hand. General Gravis has prepared an assault on the Sargon encampment. Miramon has asked you to track him down to the Ebony Barracks across the river and assassinate him and find a tomb of Wilming Queen in the Soros Temple. So there's a lot of things we have to do in this actual episode. Uh, so honestly, I think this is where I'm going to go ahead and end this. So um, just so you know, again, you know, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, The Conundrum. Again, spelled T-H-E-C-O-N-N-O-N-E, D-R-U-M. Again, you can find me on Facebook under that name, as well as on my Twitter, Twitter page and Twitch, of course, right now. Um, Twitch, of course. Twitter, as well as my Instagram. I have Instagram, the underscore conundrum, so feel free to subscribe to that. And if you do become a new subscriber on my YouTube page, you'll definitely get a shout out on my next video. But that being said, I'm going to get ready to let you guys go, of course, but you guys have a great rest of the night. Peace.